What is going on, my good old friends of YouTube? It's your boy Stas here. Welcome back to yet again another video. So we have to break down SoFi stock as we are pretty much in the middle of power hour right now. And guys, it's looking ugly out there. All of the indexes in the US are down and SoFi stocks down about half of a percent. Honestly, not too bad. In fact, earlier in the day, it was in the green, so we have a lot to cover. So guys, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and get up to 15 stocks from Moomoo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least $100 using that link down below, you get five stocks and a $30 cash reward and fund your account at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks. And overall, for now, your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys, this is the best deal on the market right now. So again, check out the link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. And with that being said, cheers. Let's get right into the video. So we're about halfway through power hour right now. And like I said, guys, it's a bloodbath pretty much. Today is not good at all, especially for the indexes and the NASDAQ, which we'll talk about later in the video and really no stocks out there on my watch list except for roblox and warner brothers discovery no stocks are are up a lot you know roblox is up 20 percent they crushed earnings uh warner brothers is up five percent not that much uh, and pretty much everything else is either flat slightly green or massively in the red and sofi is down about 0.7% right now, seven cents in the red, and it's at $11.15. And you guys can see if I zoom in a little bit on the intraday, it's been a rocky day. It's been volatile to say the least. You know, we opened up at around 11.20, got down at 10.90, popped right back up to 11.20, 11.30 actually, which was, uh, looks like the high from the pre-market. And then we chopped around in that range pretty much all day. You know, $11 as support, $11.30 as resistance. We went up and down in that range uh, many times today. And, and we're actually still pretty much smack dab in the middle of that range. If I get the channel tool out, you guys uh, can see. So if we get direction above 1130 uh, whether it's later today, which I doubt it's only we only have 30 minutes left or at some point tomorrow, if we get a push towards 1130 and we break out of there, that would signal more upside, um, at least in the short term. That's kind of what I'm thinking, maybe for a move back towards the highs from yesterday. You know, we hit 1150 yesterday. Maybe that point breaks. We go back to twelve dollars where the stock was after earnings uh but yeah we got to get that push past 11:30. so i'm gonna set my first alert now at 11 dollars 30 mark is at or above and i'll do another one at 11 dollars uh maybe flat yeah we'll do that mark is at or below just in case we fall through this channel which again we've been trading between 11 to 11:30. All day today and if I pull up the five day we can see uh, we're pretty much in the middle of the range from where we got or what you know where we saw the stock trade post earnings uh, we shot to, uh, to twelve dollars but also dumped down to 977 so we opened up or, or that day we traded in a gap of around 18 percent man unbelievable and that that range was around two dollars and twenty cents and we're pretty much right in the middle more towards the upper end of that range as we're over eleven dollars so that's a good sign overall for the bulls uh but obviously we have to pick direction here um and now that i'm looking at it here on the five day five minute we have a wedge do you guys see that clear as day lower highs higher lows at the same time so that makes 1130 even more crucial uh, to break and eleven dollars and fifty cents which I'll set a third alert at that price eleven dollars and fifty cents we'll do that mark is at or above 
and if this breaks 11:30 followed by 11:50 now we're talking a full on uh breakout but we're going to have to wait and see how tomorrow goes i don't think much is going to happen in the next 30 minutes i could be wrong though uh but we'll see tomorrow is going to be big for the overall direction in sofi stock uh, whether it's under $11 or above $11.30, $11.50, which obviously uh, the latter would be ideal for the bulls. So let me see on the four hour how we're looking. Uh, we're still above both moving averages. That's good. On the three year chart, uh, we can see we broke out of the highs from 15 months ago, end of July, man, uh, 2023. We took those highs out with the move after earnings, which is really good overall. Uh, so that means we hit roughly a three-year high with that move after earnings. And it makes sense that we're volatile still. You know, it's uh, it's still fresh. The earnings are fresh. The stock is still digesting the earnings. And over the coming days, which is why I covered these levels and I set my alerts, we're going to start getting direction over the next couple of days so we have to wait for it, guys. We got to be ready. And, of course, we're going to do more updates. So make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and sign up to the email list. It's free, by the way. If you guys haven't done that, it's linked down below in the description box. Put your first name and your email address. And I'm sending you for free my top three stocks every Monday. Right to your email. No spam. No BS. None of that. Just straight value. And, again, it's free. Check out that link down below in the description box. So, yeah, man, that's what I'm looking at in the short term. I'm glad I caught the wedge here on the five-day. Uh, that's going to be very important. And to be honest, man, SoFi is holding up very well considering how volatile of a day we're noticing or seeing today and how much red overall there is. I mean, for Pete's sake, guys, the VIX is up over 10%. Earlier, it was up even more. Uh, the NASDAQ is down two and a quarter right now. It's selling off aggressively. We're down. We were down at one point twenty dollars off the highs from just two days ago. You know, triple Q hit five oh two. We hit four eighty three just about 10, 20 minutes ago. Right. So this was down three and a half percent. We're noticing a big shift um, in the indexes here. Volatility is coming up. And, you know, it's it's uncertain times. We're getting earnings out of big tech. The election's coming up in a week uh, in the U.S. That's insane. Uh, it came up so fast, guys. Um, and it's, uh, it's causing the volatility, the uncertainty, the fear, and the selling. And, guys, that's where opportunities open up. I'm not saying that the market is a screaming deal right now. It's not, you know, I guess a screaming deal. But, you know, if you're dollar cost averaging, it's it's not bad. If you're buying over time, it's not bad. And there are some stocks out there that are decent values right now, which we've covered before on the channel. Uh, but overall, man, if you have a long term mentality during volatile, uncertain times, just buy and, and forget about it, man. If, if you're in the stock market for years you're going to be fine. You know, take advantage of the volatility, trade, make some money and just keep buying in your long term. You know, that's what I've been doing and it's worked over time. Uh, and I have a long, long time horizon, man, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. So what do you all think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Run the likes up. Make sure to subscribe. Do all of that good stuff. And by the way, shout out to everybody that's joined the Patreon. I appreciate all of the support on there. As always, I'm actually building out a portfolio to show you how to build a portfolio from scratch. Well, it's not at $0 anymore. It was when I started it on Patreon. Now we're pushing, um, you know, a nice, a nice account size. Let's just say that, man, as we've built it over time. And the goal with that was to show you guys how to build a portfolio with not much money per week. We started off with 50 bucks a week, bumped it to a hundred. You know, I put some lump sums in there, thousand dollars here, 750 here. Now it's what? I think 125 bucks a week. And we, we've been building it up for about two, uh, two years almost now, guys. 
Um, and their returns are pretty good. We're crushing it. Stocks are crushing it in that portfolio. So check it out. If you guys are interested, link down below or go to StockSurfest.com slash Patreon. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you all in the next video.